1954, the kidney was the first human organ to be transplanted successfully. In the years after that, the liver, lungs, heart, and pancreas were all transplanted successfully. In the early 80s, the potential of organ rejection limited the number of transplants performed. But over time, with medical advances, treatment for rejection led to successful transplants and an increase in demand. Since then, there has been about 750,000 transplants. That is a huge number. But considering that this encompasses every transplant ever, that number isn't so huge. Currently, there is 114,000 people who are in need of an organ transplant. About 74,000 of these people are on the active waiting list at the making of this video. 27,000 of that number have gotten their transplant done with about 13,000 donors. So considering all the numbers, only 24,000 of everyone who needs a transplant has gotten one leaving the rest waiting for a capable donor to pass away. Right now, 20 people die every day on the transplant waiting list, while someone new is added every 10 minutes. So let's just say we got an issue. This is where 3D printing comes in. 3D printing, or in this case, 3D bioprinting is the process of dispositioning biomaterials to create tissue. Also, there will be no capability issues because the organs are made using the patient's own tissues. In 2016, Jennifer Lewis Lab at Harvard developed a printing method that uses ink consisting of kidney cells and surrounding materials. Thanks to this ink, the research group have been able to recreate parts of the nephron, the functional unit of the kidney. The nephron is responsible for filtering the blood and reabsorbing all of the useful components and excreting out the rest. With this advancement, the field of 3D printed organs for transplant is a lot closer now to creating functional kidneys. Other 3D organs such as the heart liver are also in development. This is good news for anyone out there waiting for a transplant, considering that the kidney by far is the most in-demand organ for patients, followed by the liver and heart. With new technology comes challenges, and 3D bioprinting is no exception. One of the challenges that bioprinting face is speed, due to the high resolution of 3D printing of which droplets can be as small as 20 micrometers, printing an organ could take hours if not days. Another issue is the need for vasculature in large tissues. Without vasculature, to bring nutrients and oxygen to the center of large tissues and similarly to remove waste, the size of tissues is limited to the diffusion limit of blood. But it is the complex design of vasculature throughout organs that may prove difficult to replicate through 3D printing. As you may have already guessed, there is still a long way to go before 3D organs can be transplanted into humans. Further testing and research is definitely needed. Okay, thank you. For watching this video please leave a comment a like if you enjoyed this i plan to keep making these for a long time as always well i'm starting now thank you and come again <laughs>